Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to Pilates. Today's session does not require any equipment. We will just be using mat, moving your body and connecting with your breath. So bring yourself down to lie on your back and we will start with the breathing. Once you find yourself lying there, just choose a comfortable spot for your arms and your legs and breathe in very deeply, exhaling then completely. And I want you to just come back and forth through that breathing pattern. Allow your breath to slow down. Allow your mind to slow down in response, your body to respond to the quietness and the slowness of your breathing. And allow everything to coordinate together. When you feel the inhale coming through, you're looking for the movement and expansion of your ribs. And then on the exhale, how they can collect together as well. Do this with a softness about your body. Shoulders not coming up to your ears. No extra tension anywhere else. And just starting to feel an intentional engagement of your core so that as you exhale, you draw your belly in, ribs together, pelvic floor lifts. Inhale, breathe in, expand. Exhale, breathe out, draw in and engage. This subtle intentional connection of your deep core muscles that I want you to focus on by initiating with your breath. This centering principle and breathing principles of Pilates that are so important to now and our session that follows and to your everyday life. Once you've done that, you are feeling ready. Send your hands up to the ceiling, one arm at a time. Send it back behind you or up overhead by your ear and then bring it back towards the ceiling, other side. And I want you to try to do this a few times without having your arm slash shoulder really elevate up towards your ear. So there will be a slight bit of elevation just as a natural component of the movement, but I don't want anything excessive in your upper traps. Quiet those down up there at the top, a bit of intentional action in that way. Then leave both arms up towards the ceiling. Choose a leg to start on. On your exhale, lift one leg up into tabletop. Set it back down, other side. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. And I want you to be looking for some lower abdominal engagement here. So that as your leg lifts, you'll feel your hip flexor working a little, but it's your deep abdominals in the low point of your stomach that I want you to really search for so that you can get them working in support of your leg lifting, not just really strong in your hip flexor. Then the next time your next leg goes up, you're gonna leave it there, inhale at the top. Exhale, second leg lifts up. Then arms can resume. Up by your ear, return, other side. Now I'm layering this up here and flowing everything together. If you need a break at any point, or if you need to come back to any previous component of the exercise, totally fine. Allow yourself to stay connected from your center. Neutral pelvis, not having a big arch of your back. Then when your arms are up towards the ceiling, one leg, press it out, return it back. Other leg, press it out, return it back. You can also do the toe taps here like we did a little bit ago. Or you can have both feet onto the floor and slide your foot along the floor. And then we're gonna put it together. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep your legs going, add your arms back in. Exhale away, inhale, return. Breathing, connecting, staying super present inside your body. Two more on either side, you're doing an excellent job. Then once you've done them, let, let your feet come down, arms come down, up, then up overhead, reach with your arms, reach with your legs, have a really nice big stretch through your whole body. 
and then bring your arms back down by your sides, bend your knees, place your hands onto your pelvis, on your exhale, imprint your spine, draw your belly in, pelvis posterior tilts, and then inhale, anterior tilt, look for the exaggerated curve of your lower back here. So I want you to play around with just mobility through your pelvis. In the process, we are getting some mo movement into your lumbar spine, your lower back, that's good. But think about initiating it from your pelvis. So it rolls and it tucks under and you draw your belly in. And then inhale, other direction, curving, opening up. Take your hands down by your sides. Continue with this as you articulate up into your bridge. Exhale, imprint, draw your belly in, articulate it up, and then controlling and articulating down. Exhaling, drawing in, really controlling all the way up. No big rib flare at the top, and then articulating down. And I want you to try to just flow through this. And feel here that you can indeed feel each spine or each vertebrae imprinting. And then they peel off and they imprint back down as you come down. So your collarbones stay open. And you're initiating here when you come back down up in your thoracic spine. So those bony, that bony prominence up at the top, you should feel it articulate in and then lower down. Very good, hold up at the top on this one. Choose a leg to start on. You're gonna open it out to the side, bring it back to the center, same thing, other side. Opening it out and returning. Now my pelvis is staying level, so I want you to really try to feel that bit of external rotation here and your, as your leg turns externally, your thigh, sorry, turns in your hip socket externally. But I don't want you to have your pelvis tip and twist all over the place ribs coming together, breathing, shoulders softening, face softening. Very good, make this your last one. Then both legs are parallel, articulate your way back down. Excellent, bring your legs together so they're touching. Choose a leg to start on, on your exhale, you're gonna open it out to the side like we just did. Don't let your pelvis tip, inhale back, other side. So very similar to what we just did when you were up in your bridge, but obviously now your feet are on the floor and I want you to really be focusing in on this level plane here. So your pelvis is neither posterior anterior tilted or shifting laterally. Just really working for that neutrality, ribs coming together. Sometimes when we get things sorted out in one area of our body, like your pelvis, then that has a flow on effect where somewhere else kind of gets a little bit out of alignment. So focusing on this alignment now, hold your leg open on the next one, push it down towards the floor, your pelvis will tip off, tip off now, and then bring yourself back to the center, leg comes back up, other side. So you open it up like we did already, then push a little bit, give that little bit of a stretch, you can tip off, and then back to the center, one more time either side. Opening up, breathing, continue on with that nice stretching, and then returning. Last one over here on this side. Very good. Then hug both of your knees into your chest. Draw them really nicely and close. Then I want you to exhale, come up like you're going to be like in a little bowl here. And then inhale, lower yourself back down. Three more of those. Exhale, draw your knees in, rounding your spine. Inhale, lower. And I'm drawing my belly in at the same time to really get that deep ab work. Very good, now this time you're gonna come up, leave yourself up there, and you're gonna come into your single leg extension. So feel here that you can lengthen that leg out as you draw in, abs engaging, and try to feel your upper abs working so that you can have some tension out of your neck. I know it's still gonna probably have a bit of tension anyways, that's okay, we won't be here for too long. But that's a bit of a conscious 
thing that you can practice. The ribs together, upper abdominals engaging. Breathing through for three, two, last one. Very good, then hug your knees in, lying down. Reach your arms up overhead, lengthening your legs out and flowing through your roll up. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then articulating your way up, reaching through, and then bringing your way back down. So in all of these things that we've been practicing with your abdominals, I want you to really be thinking about the drawing in, the deepening, pelvis getting to roll like a wheel and move with your collarbones opening up. And use your breath to help you out. It's there as your helper. Try not to hold it and restrict yourself. Very good, we're gonna do one more finish in your upright seating, sitting position. Excellent job. Then from there, we're going to actually transition right over uh, to your side. And I want you to come all the way down onto your side. So you're going to be on your, I'm starting on my right side. And I want you to find your body really nicely lengthened out here. From here, leave your bottom leg on the floor. Top leg lift and lower. So similar to how we started, I'm going to do a flow through this where I'm going to bring us progressively up. So right now we're obviously lying completely on our side, then I'll bring us up a little bit, and then onto the forearm, and so on. If at any point it is too much, then feel free to stay in a previous version or return to a previous version. Three more here. Two. Last one. Now that bottom leg is going to bend, Bring yourself up, head is in your hand. Top leg now, sweeping it forward, pressing it back. And through this whole side series, I want you to really be focusing on this front line so you can feel the deepening of your abdominals, ribs coming together, and not having any shifting in your pelvis. So that really requires at this stage, this idea almost of your tailbone pressing back, your sits bones opening behind you. Three more. Two. Last one. Very good. Now leave your leg lengthened out. You're going to come up onto your forearm. From there, bending in, pressing out. Think about this nice long line of your leg as you press. Always breathing. Underneath here, lift it up. So not slouching down here. Elbow underneath your shoulder, lift up at your waist. Gives that extra little bit of work in those oblique abdominals. Three more, almost there. Two. Last one, very good. Now leave your leg, or sorry, place your leg down. You're gonna come up here onto your palm. Then I want you to reach with your top arm and bring that back. Reaching up overhead and then returning. A little bit of lateral work here. Good, now stay there. Bring that top leg in front. Probably need to bring your hand down a little bit lower, coming right up into your side bend. So coming up and over, there's that lateral flexion again, and then return yourself back up, or back down, sorry. Breathe through, look for that long line. Now, if this is too much, stay in the first version. You don't have to come up, or you don't have to lift your bottom up. Very good. Now this time we're going to come up. Stay up or meet me up here and transition around into your plank position. So find your plank. Palms underneath your shoulders, lengthening out. Really feel this broadening idea like you're splitting the mat apart. From there, leg lift, lower, 
lift, lower. Feel this lengthening up the back of your legs, so you're lengthening to lift. Then we're going to transition. So now your one leg comes underneath the opposite knee. Press it back, other side. Drop down to your knees at any time that you need to. We're looking to build some endurance here and really focus on that alignment of your plank. One more on either side. Excellent job. Now coming into your extension, open up, present your chest through and then press back up into your plank. If this is too much, drop to your knees, do the same thing. Plank position, into your extension, heart center shines. Pressing back, two more of those. Excellent work, everyone. Really relying on your breath and that inside warmth to help you. Excellent, then from your plank, wide knees dropping back into your child's pose. Well done, take a breath there. Really allow yourself to settle in. And then once you're feeling okay and your wrists and everything have had a little bit of a break, you can bring yourself up and swivel all the way around to the other side. So you're gonna lie down here again onto your side. Now this time obviously we're on the left. So find this nice lengthened out position here of your body. And then top leg lift and lower. Now the distance that you're lifting is dependent on your range here to stay in parallel. So I don't want you to externally rotate and turn your foot up to the ceiling. Yes, you'll get farther distance, but it's not targeting the muscle that I'm after. So I want you to be keeping it parallel, so that means your inner thigh is going to face the floor the whole time. And that really lets you get some good glute need work here, which is important for your pelvis alignment. Breathing, last four, three, two, last one. Then bring, or sorry, bring your bottom leg up and you come up here into your uh, hand, head in your hand. Then top leg, bring it forward, press it back. And again, it's not about the distance forward with your leg. I'd rather you come less far forward with your leg, but keep your pelvis alignment as opposed to having your pelvis rock backwards. So just check it with that. I have my hand here really checking. My pelvis is staying completely stabilized in the same spot. Very good work, everyone. Three more. Two. Last one. Then from there, bring yourself up onto your forearm, lining it up underneath, and then that leg sweeps or presses up and back. Picking up underneath, feeling a little bit of work probably in your lats underneath if possible to pull that shoulder blade down so you're not coming way up here by your ear. Doing an excellent job. Keep going. Really feeling this glute firing up in here now. Four more. Three, two, last one, excellent, leg comes down, bring yourself up here onto your palm, hand down towards your leg, then reach up. So just getting this modified version here of lateral flexion. A nice stretch along your side, a little bit of work on the underside, and then we'll transition to your side bend. So bring that leg up, palm underneath, again, scoot a little bit more up if, if you need to, and then as you're ready, up and over. Excellent job. Now remember you can do this from your forearm as well, on your uh, hand that's on the mat, or you can stay in the first version. Breathing through, come up 
up into your side bend one more time. Excellent. Coming down, now you're going to transition all the way around into your four point kneeling. Find your four point kneeling position. Then opposite arm, opposite leg, press them away and bring them back. And you're going to alternate. Each time as you send your limbs away, you're looking for your center to stay completely stabilized, no change there. You're just allowing your limbs to be these levers that facilitate the instability and that make your core work a little bit. Gaze is just here in front, lengthening up the back of your neck. One more on either side. Then you're gonna go through again. I have my right arm, left leg. Send it out, hold it there. Then press back onto your knee, or to bend deeper into your knee, and then back to the start. So you're gonna hold it up. Now if this is too much on your knee, then feel free to come through the first version but you're really lengthening out. Keep reaching with that arm and leg. Good, then park it in neutral, leg lift and lift. Reach with your arm, draw your belly in. Back to this glute work again a little bit. Almost there, that's four. Three, two, Last one, draw them under, flexing your spine. Inhale to neutral, exhale, deepen. Inhale, press, exhale, under. Three, two, last one. Good, set them down and switch over. Opposite arm, opposite leg on the other side, press them away. Excellent job, hold it there. Reach them, and then you're going to deepen the bend into your knee on the other side. Press it back, and return. Remember your breath, there for your stability. The hand, the arm of the, the, the arm that's on the mat, the hand of the arm that's on the mat, check that that elbow is not locked down. Sorry, I got a little bit mumbled with my words there. But try to keep this arm softly bent. Good, hold it forward in neutral leg, lift and lift. Breathing through, remember your gaze is just the top of the mat. So you can have your neck long. Three, two, last one, exhale, draw under and flex. Inhale, press. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, press. Three more. Then you're going to get to come off your knees and hands. Two. Last one. Excellent. Amazing work. Take your knees wide. Press yourself back into your child's pose. Excellent. Breathe nice and deeply there. And then once you've done that, bring yourself up. We're gonna meet in your Z sit position. So I have both of my feet going to the right side. Find yourself sitting up tall in that position. Sits bones grounded down if you can. And then come on down to your forearm of the left hand or the opposite one of your feet. And then press over. And then returning up, hand down and up and over the other side. So just another uh, version of lateral flexion. We've done a few versions today already, but a super important movement for your spine. Helps keep it decompressed, helps with your breathing, because we give some space to those muscles between your ribs. And it just feels so good. This time you're gonna come up, we're gonna flow into rotation. So leave your uh, left knee there, and then you can bring your leg around in front or wrap it all the way around and spiral yourself around in the opposite direction. Think about twisting right, spiraling up to the ceiling. Breathing, twisting. 
Very good, then unravel, and you're gonna flip your legs over in the other direction. So you can come into your zetsit here. Whichever direction your knees are going in, mine are going to the right. You're coming down onto that form, and then pressing up and over. And then down, other side, up. And you can flow through this a little bit quicker if you wish. You can hold each move a little bit longer if you wish. It depends how lateral flexion feels in your body or what you need from it in your body on this day that you're doing this session. Very good, coming up. Leave your knee on the floor. Bring your leg around in front or if it's available to you, twist it all the way around and then spiral yourself around. And then once you've done that, unraveling, move yourself down near the end of your mat so your knees are bent, feet are near the end. And we're gonna come down with control. Arms out in front or underneath your hamstrings if you need to. Tuck your tailbone under and articulate your way down until you're lying flat on your back on the mat. Once you're there, reach your arms up, legs out. Really nice big stretch here. And then bring your arms down to your cactus arms, and bend your knees, and I want you to drop your knees over in one direction, shift your gaze in the other, and then back to the center. Same thing, other side. So you can get this nice little bit of a spiral and twist here, especially in your lower back, it probably feels quite nice. Then back to the center. If you have the need for any other stretch or movement or release or anything in your body at this time, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just find a comfortable spot. Wherever you would like to be, however you would like to be on your mat right now, I want you to assume that position and then turn your attention to your breath. So you can feel a really intentional inhale and exhale. You can feel a really intentional expansion of your ribs and your thoracic cage and then a fill an emptying and a softening as your ribs come back together go back and forth through that focusing in on your breath and feeling it permeate in from all the different places and feeling all the spaces as you're doing that lying there feeling the after effects of this movement in your body I want you to also acknowledge that you have shown up and been here to do this session. You have done an excellent job of it. Thank you so very much for being here and doing it with me. And I can't wait to see you again soon.